Buongiorno, this is Vito from Vito's Italian Cucina. Thanks for joining us today, and thanks for all the great subscriptions. Remember, go to Vito's Italian Cucina.com for the website and on YouTube. Make sure you ring that bell. I can use the subscriptions. Salute. So today, guess what we're going to do? We're going to do black bean chili. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of different recipes like this. A lot of people do it. I came upon this along the way, and I thought I wanted to share it with you. This is my take on it. So uh, hopefully you'll like it. It's not going to be too hot. I got a few things I'm going to show you that's going in it. And right down here are the black beans right there. Look at that. Look at those black beans right in there. Yeah, that's right. Those are frijole nere, black beans in Italian. Okay, then we have the chipola, okay, chipola blanca, which is uh, white onion. And then we have some oregano, which is oregano. And then we have pomodoro, which are tomatoes right here. And then we have right here, which it's a sauce, it's a puree. It's called posata, posada. Okay, and what that is, is a derivative of uh, tomatoes. It's uncooked and it's a puree and uh, you could use it in uh, uh, soups and everything. Like today, we're going to use it in our chili. So over here, we have a chipola rosa, right? Rosa, chipola rosa, like that. There you go. And then over here, we have some aioli. It's garlic. I'm going to use granulated garlic today. And then down here, I'm using smoked paprika, smoked paprika. And then we have some pepe, pepper. And I have a little bit of sugar right here, a little bit of sugar. And then we have some garnish. These are the four afterwards when I bowl it up and you guys get to see how we do it at the end, okay? And then of course I have some, whoa, there's some, whoa, little red pepper in there. You know what I mean? You gotta be careful with this stuff, you know? That stuff will get you. And then we have some cumin. Cumin is nice. I don't use it a whole lot, as but it's from the parsley family. And uh, uh, I wonder if the Parsley family gets together for dinners. I'm not sure. I know we do. But I got to tell you something. Uh, it's a uh, mild and sweet, nutty element. You know, some people tell me I have some nutty elements. And, uh, well, today we're using this one. Uh, and then, of course, there's, again, a little bit of garnish. And then we have some long green onions that's going to go right into the chili. Okay, I think uh, I got everything here, except I didn't get right here. You know what this is? This is chili powder. This is dark chili powder that you put in, and a little bit of sale, salt in Italian. So don't go nowhere. What I'm going to do is a little different today. I'm going to meet you over at the stove top, and we're going to do everything over there. So don't go nowhere. All right, thanks for joining me over here at the stove top. We're going to get going. I've got all my ingredients from over on the island over here. So it's real handy, and we're going to make this real fast. Now, what I'm going to tell you is I may give you some uh, amounts of uh, ingredients that I put in. I may not, but I can tell you this. They'll always be in the description. So I just kind of want to keep it moving. Um, and uh, right now, let me tell you what I did was I put a little butter and a little olive oil in the pan, as you can see right here, and it's heating up nice. And then I have my ground beef. That's what we're using today is the ground beef right here. And uh, what I'm going to do is... Uh, not to put it in and just start grinding it up. I'm going to put it in little pieces, like little chunks, because it's what you want in chili. You want little chunks. By the way, uh, for the future, you can use any kind of meats that you'd like to. Uh, uh, you know what's good? It's like a roast beef or anything like that that you would have a day before and you want to make chili the next day. Just take that, chop it up, and put it in the chili. That's wonderful, too. So right now, we're going to go here with the ground beef, and I'm going to make little tiny, they're not meatballs. I always think of meatballs. Uh, but they're going to be little chunks, okay? So why don't you come on in and I'll show you. Okay, here we go. So, just like this, see? Just like this. You see that good? Turn the heat down a little bit. See, a uh, little tiny to meet the ball. So what you do is you start to brown them like this, and you don't want to tear them apart. You turn them over and let them cook nicely, as you can see. Okay. Look how great that looks, guys. There we go. Isn't it neat? Yeah. You don't want to ground up the beef like that. You want it to be in nice little chunks. Yeah. So this is going to be wonderful. So now what I'm going to do is, is while it's browning here, 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start adding some ingredients in here. So what I'm going to do first is add some, some garlic, some ayo, garlic. Okay. There you go. And again, if you folks don't like garlic out there, you don't have to use it. We've got some uh, salt, some sale, and I'm going to put the salt in, like so. Make sure you season your food. Season your food. There we go. And then I'm going to come over here where I got my stuff like pepe. Okay. And I'm going to put a little pepper. Pepper. We'll go ahead and put it in there nicely. So we're going to let that cool down. That's good. Okay. That's nice. And I'm going to go ahead and give it another little stir like this. There's some chunks in there still not done yet. Make sure you cook your beef properly and done. Okay. You don't want it rare, that's for sure. Steaks are good rare. Okay, so now, as we progress here, take a look at that. Take a look. Okay, looks wonderful. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the uh, chipola, the white, okay? And we're going to go ahead and put that in, just like now. Just like so, look at that, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and put uh, the red, red onions, okay? Put those in there also. Nicely done, Vito. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the long green onions, as you can see. Look how beautiful those are. Isn't they nice? Look at that. Huh? And these are going to go in too. Okay, just like that. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to go ahead and stir it in. Start it going. Can you see that okay over there? Yeah. Feeling good. Okay. Very good. Okay. We're going to go ahead and let that cook down just for a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the uh, pomodoro, the tomatoes, with the juice. Okay. okay, thanks for staying with us. Now it's time for the uh, dark chili powder. We're going to go ahead and sprinkle that in. Okay. Try to do it evenly across the board there. And hopefully that's enough uh, chili powder. I'll try it along the way, you know, and then we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so right now we've got the chili powder in there right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the paprika, the smoked paprika, right on top of that. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, there, that's nicely done. And then guess what? Hot stuff, baby. Okay, be careful with this, okay? Well, however, you know, some people like to use poblamo uh, chilies. Or they like to use jalapenos. Uh, I, uh, I like crystal or I like Tabasco sauce sometimes. But I'm going to go with a little bit of uh, south of the border here, uh, a little red flakes, okay? So be careful on these. And I'm not going to even touch them with my fingers because I'm afraid I'm going to burn my eyes if I do So I'm just going to put a little bit in there just like that. I'm not putting all of them. I think that that's enough heat for now, okay? And then I'm going to get ready to put in some sugar and some cumin. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir this in, just like so. Can you see that? Oh, it's coming together really nicely. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This looks beautiful. Okay, now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put our uh, pomodoro our tomatoes, our crushed tomatoes, with the juice, with the juice, okay, here we go, just like so, and we're going to stir it in, okay, here we go, stir it in, just like so, I'm going to pick up the heat just a little bit, a little bit more, okay, and then now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to put in our cumin. Here it is. Remember, it's in the parsley family. And uh, this is a nice little sweet little nutty uh, flavor. I think you're, you're going to enjoy it. It's very good. I said put that in there like so. And then what I like to do is just a little bit of sugar. A little bit of granulated sugar, like so. You know what I mean? That's eh, not my, not bad, not bad. Like I said, uh, these uh, ingredients uh, amounts will be in the description. So make sure you stay tuned and look at the bottom. You'll see it in the description. Everything is there, and uh, I'm going to get to enjoy it. Okay, so now, while this is going ahead and sauteing a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and just sit still for a minute. And you want to take a look at that sauteing.
And then, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to put in a little bit of uh, pasada, okay? A puree, that's right. Don't go nowhere. We're coming up. I need this to saute for a second. Okay, it's coming along and simmering really well, and it smells delightful. Um, time for a little bit of the old garden, Victory Garden oregano that I grew, my wife and I grew out there. And we're going to go ahead and put a little oregano in there, the uh, leaves, strip them off and just put them all in there just like so, just like so. Okay, there we go. And it's nice when you can use the fresh, use the fresh stuff, you know what I mean? It's pretty neat. I got a few things out there we're growing. We have mint out there. We have uh, parsley. We have thyme. The thyme is not looking that good out there, though. Yeah, I think it's almost out of time. But uh, and then we have rosemary. You know, so we got a few things. And then guess what? My friend of mine named Jay, he gave me some uh, some seedlings, some red onion, and some white onion seedlings that I'm planting uh, uh, today. That's right. So as you can see, it's in the pot there. Can you see that? And then here's the posada, okay? I'm gonna put the puree in there, and then we're gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna use too much. I don't want it to get too watery, too too uh, uh, liquidy. I'm gonna put that in like that, and I'm gonna go ahead and stir it. Look at this, folks. Delightful is my word for the day. Delicious is another one. <laughs> I wish you guys could smell this. This is beautiful. I love it. It's just so much fun doing this for you guys and and for us, of course, you know what I mean? And uh, I would hope that you share this with your friends and family. And I think they're going to really enjoy it. As you can see, this is a very, very, very fast chili, okay? Now, guess what? Time for the black beans. Now, why did I wait so long before I put the black beans in? Because uh, I don't want them to get too soggy. I want them to come in last. I want them to be more like an al dente to the tooth, okay? So we're not going to let them cook real long, I said, but we're going to let them cook. Okay, so come on over and I'll just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the juice and everything. And there they go. Now it has turned into black bean chili. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and let that saute for a little bit. I like to try to cook that for at least another 30 minutes to let, let it cook down a little bit. And uh, while you're away, I'm gonna go ahead and put a lid on here and uh, hold on to some of the flavor and the steam. Don't go nowhere, it's Vito's Italian Cucina. Thank you for being here. Grazie, molto bene, ciao. All right, it's time for the reveal, the big reveal. Oh my God, I wish you could taste this right where you are. I know I could smell it here and I wish you could too. Maybe smell a vision will be something for us in the future, you know. Uh, your friends and family are gonna love this and it is so darn easy. I said darn, by the way, so. Okay, so I'm gonna take the lid off like so and put that over here and you can come on and get a little closer if you want. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this chili. Vito's black. Bean, chili, look at this. And look at those big chunks, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the in my bowls here. Look at this, oh my goodness. Little, little pomodoro, just like this. Oh, I gotta go for one more of those, just like so. Okay, we'll do that one here. Now I'm gonna come over and get this next one. Okay, and we'll do the same thing, okay? Just like so, just like so. Oh my God. This is terrific, you guys. This is so terrific, and it's so easy. You saw what I did, you know what I mean? So, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and put them down here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get my sour cream. I decided to lose, lose a little sour cream here, and what you do is I put it on top just like so. Look at that, just like so. Oh my God. Boy, oh boy, your friends and family are gonna think that, uh, you know, you're a five-star uh, Michelin uh, chef, you guys. Present this, and I'm going to use some of the long green onion uh, on top of that. Look at this. Okay, look at that. Oh, goodness gracious. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Okay, that's that one. Then I'm going to come over and get some cheddar cheese, a little cheddar for this one. We go ahead and put that in here, like so. Look at that. How gorgeous that is, guys. Put a little more. I love cheddar cheese, okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get some white onion, some white onion. 
And I'm going to put that on top of that, just like so. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit of a rosa, red in it. Okay. Put that on top just like so. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Look at how gorgeous that looks. Can you see that? All right. Don't go nowhere. I'm going to go ahead and put it on some other plates for our final preview and for your enjoyment. All right, from Vito's Italian Cucina, don't go anywhere.